with this uh, inviting uh, dr anjali kulkarni vice president rwe strategy and analytics for basecare for the innovation spotlight session and she will showcase how ai is being leveraged for precision therapeutics please join us welcome dr anjali kulkarni i hope you all can hear me yeah so just 5 minutes brief on what the previous panels have set out how the uh, data is a problem how homogenizing the data in indian context is a big problem and when it gets applied to the most complex disease which is a cancer care next slide Slides are not moving. I think. So till the slides come up, I think we are still waiting for that Netflix moment or a Spotify moment to happen in the healthcare. Right? There is no hyper personalization or a personalization. For that, anyway, there is no recommendation which is possible for a clinician or an oncologist to prescribe the treatment. the biggest problem currently is whether uh, with a particular treatment whether the patient will respond or not and that that is becoming a bigger um, you know challenge overall because the treatment especially in the cancer care are toxic and uh, they are expensive and uh, it's a very long term treatment so we at four base care uh, we are a, a next gen sequencing lab so along with help of ai data analytics we were trying to i will not say address the problem but we attempted to solve the problem in the precision medicine with in cancer care no way slides are moving <laughs> so the biggest problem in healthcare especially into cancer care is a multi dimensional data you have imaging data you have genomics data which goes into uh, you know multiple gb per uh, genome file then you have lot of clinical data associated and it will be the data, longitudinal data which will be spreading across years so there is a huge amount of data and making sense out of that data for a clinician is a challenge where the ai and analytics can uh, come forward and uh, th that can help you to identify a challenge so in four base care we have attempted to analyze this data and come up with a very specific india specific genetic panel for our patients so we have we were able to browse through uh, thousands of patients genomic profile and then try to see which genomes or which gene changes are common to this uh, part of the world or very specific to the indian population and depending upon that we could generalize uh, india specific genomic panel for the solid tumor called indigen and that's the uh, power of ai or uh, in the precision medicine which is very well developed here in our country and currently we have been uh, using that panel in actual patient care as of today i'm i'm missing my slide but as of today we have uh, uh, covered more than 10000s of patient using this uh, genomic panels which are specifically developed using indian data and they have been validated for our indian patient and we already have many publications out which shows that these indian uh, genomic panels are equally relevant and the patient outcomes can be comparable when we use the caucasian data or when there are lot of diagnostic tools or the genomic panels uh, available from the western countries so i'm sure sometime you will get the slide deck available on the whenever nascom puts it but thanks for it and happy to chat with you uh, over the lunch or the networking session thank you <laughs> i i think i'll take 5 minutes because some slides pain stackingly made so <laughs> 
So I was talking one drug doesn't fit all and very, very difficult to find out who will respond or who will not. So initially we used to say that treat uh, breast cancer or a lung cancer, but now the most of the treatments are uh, cancer agnostic. They are more molecular driven or they are more, um, I will say biomarker driven. And here you can see that that is going to enhance the treatment response predictability for a patient. And because uh, we talked, the, both the previous panels talked about limited genomic data and limited clinical data, and we can see that with the, using different digital technologies and using the power of data analytics and AI, we were able to churn out all this data and come up with the meaningful outcomes. So this was the first um, population-specific cancer genomic panel and uh, some young person from there asked about the availability of data. I think we have to go through the ethics committee and a proper institutional review board. Then data will be available to you if you go with a good faith and a proper protocol and of course the patient consent is most important. So uh, working with the topmost hospitals like TMH, AIMS, Shankara, uh, we could develop this panel called Target Indigene where we could make it more affordable. So every time genomic test looks like you know a far-fetched problem or a far-fetched test which is not available to the every cancer patient because of the logistic reason, because of the cost reason and because of the you know uh, not aware about any such targeted treatment available. So in that case uh, from the four base care products I think we have whole range of solution. It can be as affordable as few thousands to uh, you know the max test is around um, you know uh, a lakh plus but every cancer patient can get a promise of precision medicine using AI and genetics and we have been trying to reach the far most part of a country you can see few of the test even coming from northeast part of a country where we thought initially you know getting a uh, you know high end cancer care might be a challenge thanks for that and sorry for the technical glitch Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am.